Hello. Hey, Danny and Twoo. Hey, man. How you doing this morning? I'm doing great, my friend. So, uh, with us this morning, joining us from Chattanooga, Tennessee, right? That's right. The tropics of Tennessee. Joining us is the one and only Tiki Man of TikiManRadio.com. Good morning, Danny Lynn. Good morning to you, brother. And good morning to everybody out in California this morning. Well, we're so glad that we get to spend a little time with you. I know how busy you are. You have a internet radio station, and it's called Tiki Man Radio. Mm-hmm. And um, you play something called Trop Rock. And in speaking with you last night, you mentioned that the folks here on the left coast don't exactly know what trop rock is. So, Danny, why don't you take a moment and explain that first? Yeah, you know, trop rock was originally uh, uh, out of the Florida Keys. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's kind of a Jimmy Buffett style type music, but it has evolved over the years and become a part of reggae and uh, uh rockabilly and country and uh it's got all kinds of uh, roots to it but uh uh it's it you know it's really what i always say is uh there's uh two types of trop rock music they are the artists that are writing music about uh being in paradise and paradise can, is a state of mind so it could be anything to you whatever paradise is to you and then there's the other uh, side of trop rock uh where people are writing music about going to paradise and uh, mm-hmm. but but all in all, it's a it's a happy vibe, happy music, upbeat, uh, you know, enjoy your life kind of type music. Joining us today is Danny Lynn. He is, in fact, the Tiki Man behind TikiManRadio.com. So, Danny, tell us about the roots of how this internet internet station began. Your Trop Rock Paradise. Well, I heard an interview one time uh, where somebody told me that, you know, you don't get into radio, you fall into it. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much the truth, I think, from uh, from my experience. But uh, about five years ago, a buddy of mine owned a radio station, and uh, it was called Tiki Island Radio. And uh, we became real close friends. Actually, I was, a, I was an, uh, a really, uh, I've got a tiki bar here in my backyard, so we used to listen to it and was a you know an avid listener and then we came became part of the show and uh so he uh we got to be real close friends and uh you know i've been in business for for a long time and uh he got into some uh some trouble to where he was going to actually have to step away from the microphone and and uh uh so you know i kind of stepped in and, and started doing some shows and uh i was still in the corporate world the time so i was having to do a happy hour show monday wednesday and fridays which was a blast uh and wednesday nights we had a spotlight artist night where we would do interviews with the artist and all that good stuff but uh anyway so that that kind of went on for about two years uh and uh you know the more i invested into the radio station the more i invested into the equipment uh i just decided to uh, launch tiki man radio tiki man uh uh, the the name Tiki Man comes out of uh, you know having a tiki bar for fifteen years and people would just say oh you're that Tiki Man guy and uh, yeah. it just kind of stuck so Tiki Man Radio was a natural fit for me um, you know radio is a passion of mine uh, but certainly didn't get started uh, you know like hey I want to do radio <laughs> you just kind of yeah that's what I was gonna ask I mean your background is not in broadcasting how did you know what to do <laughs> well like everything else i think in my life i kind of figured it out as I, as i went i will say this when i was about uh, 11 years old that we had a radio station in chattanooga called wfli jet fly baby the eye in the sky and uh as kids we would walk through the woods and go over and they would hand us uh, uh you know people would send in 45s uh for airplay or or whatever and, and the ones they didn't play or the extra ones they just threw in a, in a shoe box and us kids would go over there and uh, get those 45s and, and go home and pretend like we were DJs so maybe that's where it started that's kind of the the what everybody thinks or whatever but uh, been in a corporate world for 25 years and traveling and uh, you know radio was the last thing on my mind but uh, when it comes to uh, helping out friends uh, uh, friendship is very important to me so um, you know, I kind of stepped in and, um, you know, it was really no different than, than to me than what I was doing in a corporate world, you know, cause I was doing, 
uh, you know, speeches at Marquette University and, and uh, getting in front of big crowds or whatever. But, you know, for me, uh, uh, it was no different. It, it was just, um, you know, hey, let's play some music. And it's, it, I guess all those years at the Tiki Bar playing music and entertaining people kind of prepared me for that. So, Danny, tell us how you go about choosing the music and uh, do people send it to you? What, how do you determine what gets played on the radio? Well, we have a ton of uh, music that is submitted to the radio station every week from uh, the Trop Rock family, as we like to call it, uh, is a lot of independent artists, uh, some of them making their own music, recording their own music. So quality is very important to me. Uh, so there's a lot of music that doesn't make it to the airwaves just because it needs to be uh, produced better or the quality's not up to speed. Uh, and I've found that, that artists really appreciate uh the fact that you know you give them that feedback as opposed to not playing their music at all so uh i every song that's in the station and there's about ten thousand of them uh i've listened to every one of them there's a lot of classic rock in there because you know, it's kind of music uh, a lot of people grew up on there's uh some uh country in there anything with a beach a sun a, a happy tune uh there's not a whole lot of that uh, i loved you i wanted you but you left me anyway music you know so yeah. Uh, but you know reggae some blues i was always a big blues man uh, uh jazz jazz man y'all should go down to blues fest down in new orleans and so it's a mix of music it's not just trop rock um we call it trop rock paradise your trop rock paradise and that just means that you're going to hear someone like a key west chris down in uh, key west uh, a good friend of ours and an artist on, on the station right alongside some kenny chesney uh, I heard a song that's being played on country radio right now that I think that would be really perfect for your station, and you may, in fact, be playing it, but it's the brand-new duet from Kenny Chesney and John Michael Martin, or Montgomery, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Everything's Gonna Be All Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I do actually have that one in the station. It's, it's uh, uh, John Michael Montgomery, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that would sound great on the station, I would think, too. All right, so let's see, Danny. Um, when people tune in to TikiManRadio.com, mm -hmm. uh, what is it that you give them? What, it, what do they get when they listen? Well, you know, uh, I've done tons of interviews in magazines and stuff, and people always, you know, what, what is Trop Rock and, and, and what, what is it you do? And I think it really goes back to escapism. You know, I, I think it's, uh, you know, you're having a bad day, you're, you're in a traffic jam, and, you know, all those years of traveling, uh, you know, I can certainly relate to being in airports and meetings I didn't want to be in. So it's really escapism, uh, you know, taking you somewhere that's sunny, that's, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful, it's not always about, uh, you know, a margarita on the beach kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> but it is uh, taking you to uh, a place that, that you want to be, you know, and uh, escapism, whatever that is in your mind. That's what we try to portray to the world. Uh, you know, it's taking you somewhere uh, happy. Uh, so your Sunday morning show is extremely popular. I understand it's heard in 28 different countries. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing that? That's actually a three-year running show. Uh, when, uh, it, it is an amazingly popular, and I think it has a lot to do with uh, social media. Uh, it's very interactive. People uh, come over to the Facebook page. They say hi. They, they become a part of the show, and uh, you know, they become characters of the show, you know, like uh, uh, Verona Corona up in Canada, you know, and... Uh, you know, and it is really cool. It's, uh, we just broadcast down in Key West this past November. And, uh, you know, Verona Corona traveled all the way from Canada to come down and, and uh, see us and hang out with us down there. So it's really nice when it all comes together like that. But uh, I think it's uh, what makes it so popular is that uh, if you're in uh, Kansas City or you're in uh, Kentucky or uh, Vietnam, we've got, we've got people, you know, listening in Hoochie Man City, Vietnam. We're giving them shout-outs uh, on the radio, and they've become part of the show, and uh, they like to hear the name on the radio, and uh, we like for them to be a part of our uh, family, so to speak. All right, Danny, look, um, on Men Are So Smart, 
we like to play this little game. It's called this or that. We give you two things, and you got to choose one of them for sure. You got to choose one of them. All right. And so this is a way we can get to know you on a more personal level. And I'll play along with you too. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right. First up on this or that, bacon or sausage? Bacon. I'm bacon. Give me bacon, but I want it crisp. <laughs> give me back. Yeah, give coffee me. Coffee in the morning. Coffee or Bloody Mary? Hmm, both. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Think carefully. You got to choose one. I know. Uh, I, you know, I, every, I don't care. You know, Bloody Marys, uh, we, have, we have a lot of Bloody Marys and we have the Sunday show or whatever. But I have to start every morning with a cup of coffee. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm, I'm not really much into tomato juice. Although I know you said your mom makes the tomato juice that you use in your Bloody Marys. I heard that. Yeah, Mama's Mater Juice is what we call it. She's been making it for about 40 years, and uh, it's fabulous. 57 Chevy or 69 Camaro? Uh, definitely Chevy. Okay. Baseball or football? Uh, college football. That's what I was going to ask next, college or professional. All mm. right. Uh, blonde or brunette? Danny? Uh, definitely blondes. They have more fun. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I really only dated two girls that weren't blondes in my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, creature of habit myself. <laughs> whiskey or tequila? Ooh, uh, hmm, probably whiskey. Well, I regrettably went to tequila last night after I got off the phone with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling it this morning. Well, I've had my experiences with tequila, so it scares me. That's why I go to whiskey now. I know. I, I can remember one. I, I, I choose not to go into that story here, though. Uh, crab or lobster? Definitely lobster. I'm going to Red Lobster for dinner tonight, and I think I'm going to have crab. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I like them both, but, you know, if I have to choose uh, lobster. How about this? Crawdads or oysters? Oysters. Oysters and okay, beer, I'm baby. Go, I think I think I'll go oysters on that one. I'm not big on crawdads. you got to got to bite their head off and suck their guts out, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hey, a lot of work, morning, man. <laughs> Maui or Mexico? Mexico. Oh, man, I'm going to Maui. Mm. Yeah, it's much more uh, peaceful there. I can get to Mexico quicker, I think. <laughs> ah, that's right. You're down there in Nashville, or in Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's a tough one. Lingerie or naked? Naked all the way. Mm. I'm on the fence on that one. Uh, <laughs> I'll go lingerie, just to be different. Uh, Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune, Danny? Uh, probably Wheel of Fortune. Um, what is Jeopardy for me? Uh, and finally, and this is a tough one. I want you to think about this one, Danny. I'm not quite sure how old you are, but I think we're about the same age. Mm. Jennifer Aniston. Or Sandra Bullock? Uh, Sandra Bullock. Oh, wow. I'm going Jennifer Aniston all the way. <laughs> yeah, she's my exclusionary woman at our house. If she were to come knocking on the door, it's me, Jennifer Aniston. I'm here for Lou. My wife would go, well, it was a nice run. Well, yeah, I mean, one day Stevie Nicks is going to show up and uh, her and I and uh, Meg Ryan are going to live together in sin on an island somewhere. <laughs> Selling coconuts on the beach, Danny. I can see it already. That's right. All right, buddy. Uh, listen, let's talk about, real quickly, uh, I'm running out of time. Let's talk about uh, your two artists that you would recommend people in California listen to that are Trop Rock. Hmm. Two artists. Uh, well, probably... Uh, Let's see here. Um, recommend. Uh, there's so many good artists out there. I hate to recommend just one or two, but uh, uh, we actually have, you know, I mentioned Key West Chris earlier and uh, Danny Hoy. I would definitely listen to Danny Hoy and Key West Chris together. They are independent artists, but in together they have a band called the Shanty Hounds, and uh, they live in Key West and, and play music there every day. They actually were able to come up here during the uh, hurricane when uh, 
uh, the, uh, the keys got hit pretty hard with the hurricane. They actually traveled all the way up here to Tennessee and hung out with us for a couple of weeks. Well, uh, I got to tell you that Corvette Ronnie and I are already thinking of how we can get to Nashville so we can do a couple episodes there and party with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We're over uh, close to Chattanooga. So we're about an hour and a half away from Nashville, but, uh, uh yeah i'd love to have you you guys need to come over to the studio here and hang out all right danny your radio station is tikimanradio.com you're on sunday mornings and you're also uh, on during the week with trop rock um weekdays what is i'm sorry what is it called trop rock and mornings with the tiki man Morning. starts at 7 a.m monday through friday uh, and you know, there's a app, you can go to your app store and download a app to your Android, iOS or iPad or whatever. Uh, you can download tuning on your, if you get like one of the smart TVs or whatever, you can download tuning on your TV and listen through it to your sound bar. I mean, uh, there's a ton of ways to listen, but a lot of people download the app and take us with them everywhere they go. Danny, you are my friend. And once you are my friend, you are my friend for life. Nice. I feel the same way, brother. Glad to have you guys on uh, Tiki Man Radio every uh, Saturday at noon. Your show's coming up here not too late, not too long over from now. Well, we appreciate your generosity in having us on. Danny, I'll talk to you again soon, okay, buddy? Sounds good, brother. All right, thanks. Keep on rocking, Trop Rock. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Bye. Bye.